Your date of birth holds all the secrets to your soul. Huh? You give us your date of birth, we'll tell you the secrets to love, the secrets to lust, and who the best person for you just might be. I have the answers. Check out Secrets of Birthdays at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my magicians. Welcome back from the weekend. And we start the week off correct, sunny and childlike for the Pisces. This is a great, playful day. It's kind of a sunny day. Maybe today, looking at all the planets, it might really feel like spring to you today, feeling that vibration. The moon in Cancer puts emotional focus on your heart chakra, so your heart is more emotional. And where you go emotionally determines, is determined by where your heart is. So if your inner child is not happy or locked down or can't go outside and play, it could be a mopey day. This is a great day to even be creative. If you're locked inside an office and you can't play or whatever, there's play somewhere there. Maybe you're even watching this video at the office right now. So today's a day where you want to jump into that side of yourself and it's a great romance or date night. Anything the heart desires is going to be richer and more fun today, more emotional. Now, zip into the sun. We're in major transition. Have you noticed? Today, the sun is in chapter three of sun in Aries. Jupiter is ruling the day. Mars is squaring Pluto. Pluto went retrograde. Neptune went into Pisces. I mean, we got a lot of ballet going on. And for you, this is now, in the next 10 days, in the completion of Chapter 3, it is now time for Pisces to cast out their intentions of their soul capital. What your credit is to yourself, how you want to increase that credit, what are you worth, what do you want to be worth. It's now time to start that journey, all right? And gears are shifting. Mars is squaring Pluto right now. What this means is, for the next couple of days or so especially, you will be working out conflict between your soul capital and your place in the world. And today Pluto has gone retrograde. So what that means is, it's time to shake out any concerns you have about whether or not you can sell yourself in the world, whether or not your friends will have value of you, any kind of uh, inhibitions that have held you back from really just owning your value that have to do with society or the way people think about you, it's time to shake through those. And Tomorrow, Mercury will dead conjunct Jupiter, and this will be a moment really of propelling forward, making that leap. So today, with Jupiter ruling the day, exploring options is the theme. You want to explore where you can raise your prices, where you want to invest your energy, what resources do you need to be able to pull that off. And I think it's a happy-go-lucky day because you're in your heart, the moon is in Cancer, right? Could not be better. Mercury retrograde is going to also have you continue to explore your options, so keep that in mind. Now, Pluto retrograde, which will be retrograde now for about six months, does mean that there will not be new information coming in when it comes to your place in society. Pluto retrograde says now you'll begin to internalize. So for the next six months, Pisces will be internalizing, huh, I wonder if I should go there. I wonder what this should be. Maybe carrying through with new friendships. So if you've created new friendships in the last six months, these will begin to blossom. I would not expect new friendships to walk in the door in that regard. And overall, it is a break from being thrown out there in the world not knowing what to do. All right, Pisces. Now, one last thing. It is Monday. We've got Meditation Vibration with Julie Zipper going live today. Julie is going to talk about the ego trap of fear and how meditation can get us to the bottom of our fear and eliminate it. False evidence appearing real. See what Julie has to say and how to pull it off. She's live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. All right, Pisces. Thanks for hanging in there. That's the long kickoff to Monday. And I'll see you tomorrow for our final breakthrough in Aries. Until then, live, love, be. So